Hey crafters, this is the last vid in our haunted location series. Uh, they're kind of been in the background, but uh, I really have some really gnarly haunted trees that are kind of lurching, kind of almost bending over the location. Uh, they have a really nice feeling, but they're kind of hard to see in the uh, videos that I've shown so far. So we're going to focus on those and uh, we're going to work on those trees in this vid. So uh, let's go to the table and get to work. Hey crafters, you can see we have our haunted location. We have the ritual area, the ghost well, and these spooky trees in the background just looking like they're lurching over and reaching toward, toward whatever poor soul would happen to wander into this area. This video we're going to feature uh, creating the trees and the next video we will um, finish up the trees. Now make sure you check out the rest of the videos in this haunted location series to see how we made all this uh, creepy area and uh, let's head to the table. Like a lot of trees, I'm going to start with a toilet paper roll, but I'm going to cut this in half, okay, because I want the tree diameter to be smaller. And I'm going to crinkle these up a bit because I want it to be a gnarly tree. And I'll just kind of squish those with my hand, uh, kind of twist them a little bit. I want a nice texture on there. And then I'm going to roll them up, uh, but I want the tree to be uh, taller than a single piece. So I'm going to glue the two together with a hot glue gun. And I'll just uh, glue that edge there. And I'll start uh, gluing the rolls themselves together and holding it so that it that it uh, uh, hardens up and it makes one object. So now I've got my tree trunk and I'm going to twist it and bend it a bit uh, so that I can get an interesting shape on that. Uh, the idea is to have these trees kind of bending over the table. So there we go. Got a nice nice shape there. Uh, very gnarly. Okay. I'm going to take my glue gun, kind of fill in a little bit of the tree. Um, I'm going to make sure that the uh, it's a smooth transition between the two toilet paper rolls uh, with the hot glue gun, and I'm adding texture and that kind of thing. This will strengthen the roll as well as give it texture, and I'll just keep doing that for the rest. Okay, so now I want to add some limbs, and I've got these sticks that are kind of tapered on the end, and I'm going to bend them in three parts and lurch them towards where the haunted location will be. So I'm going to pick different spots on the uh, toilet paper roll and just glue those. Preferably you want to pick a place that's kind of got like a uh, niche in it so you can kind of shove the stick in there. But that's not ne totally necessary. You can, uh, the glue gun will, will, the glue will hold it on plenty uh, well. And uh, get another one on there. So I just bend, it in, bend that and really getting a gnarly look. So now I've got these uh, plastic plants I'm going to use, and I like these because they don't have leaves on them. I just found these. I found a plant, uh, this plant, for $1.50 at uh, the store. And I'm going to just cut some of the pieces off so that I can make um, the uh, branches coming off these uh, limbs here. So I'm also going to kind of fill in the limbs so they don't just look flat. You don't want to just look like a flat limb. You want to add some texture to it. So that was what I was doing there and uh, just keep gluing these on and uh, get a nice uh, creepy look like the tree is reaching out to grab. I really like that look. So just start filling in those limbs uh, on both sides of the stick so you get a nice texture uh, as well as strength. And uh, we'll fill that out some more and add some more uh, um, plastic plant to this. Now I'm going to do uh, an interesting thing for the roots and I'm going to use these paper towels. Now you've seen me use these before, but I'm going to do it in a different way than I have before. But what I'm going to, first what I need to do is I need to twist these off and just twist them off to look like roots. So it's basically a tapered piece of uh, paper towel. And I'll just keep making these. Um, I want to have enough for the roots in different varied sizes. I want to have enough for the roots of the plant. Okay, now I'm going to use this uh, rather large washer and this is like uh, an inch and a quarter uh, wide and I'm gonna glue the tree to this and also a s piece of cardstock or thin cardboard and I'll just glue that to the center of the washer and this will give it a nice weight so it won't be tipping over all the time so you can see the limbs I added more limbs to the tree too now here's where it uh, gets interesting now I'm not gonna unlike other methods uh, this glue this tree is not used any white glue so I'm gonna glue these um, roots to the bottom of the tree and I'm not using any white glue I'm just using the hot glue 
uh, to glue it on. So I'll put a bead of hot glue down, glue the root on, uh, twist it up a little bit, and then cover it with hot glue. So it'll give a nice uh, look to the tree. I want some gnarly roots on there too. And uh, this is a great technique you can do. This is, uh, you know, essentially a uh, glueless tree as far as white glue. Okay, so uh, starting to fill out. I really wanted to show you how this filled out. That's why I'm uh, showing you the whole thing. And see how that's really coming together. Looks really great with those roots uh, going down. And they're totally covered in hot glue. I'm just covering those uh, pieces in hot glue. And uh, yeah, now I'm just filling in all the cracks with hot glue and everything. And then go around the base uh, with hot glue so it has a nice um, edge on the washer. It's not just a round washer edge. You want to fill that in and uh, make sure I get all the crevices and cracks so that's nice and solid and consistent. There we go. So now I just simply need to cut this out. So I'll just uh, trim the edge and uh, I'll have my uh, tree. So I'm also going to do the edge of the, this is thin cardboard, I'm also going to do the edge to hide that corrugation and we'll be all set. And we'll come back uh, with the next vid to finish it up. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the vid. Uh, make sure to give your Scotty a like if you did like the video. Also make sure to share and subscribe. Uh, we more the merrier in this uh, crafting hobby. Also join my uh, group's uh, Facebook and forum group. Some great people with lots of fantastic ideas. And uh, make sure to watch part two of this video so you see how to finish this up. And last but not least, go forth and craft. And have fun. Send more adventurers. <laughs>